We're now going to move on and talk about the cousin of Speed's test, and that is Jurgensen's test, which can also be used in the detection of superior labral tears, slap tears, and bicipital tendinitis. To perform Jurgensen's test, the patient can be positioned in either seated or standing. I'll be demonstrating this with the patient in the seated position. The patient is going to hold their affected upper extremity, particularly the elbow, tight against their side, with that elbow flexed to 90 degrees, and the forearm completely pronated. So that'll look like this. So elbow against the side at 90 degrees, and forearm pronated. The patient may or may not have a fist, that really doesn't matter, uh, but the palm needs to be facing downward. Okay. Next, the PT will firmly palpate the bicipital tendon within the bicipital groove. Some people will use their thumb to do this. My preference is actually to use the second and third digit. And then the patient is going to perform resisted forearm supination against manual PT resistance. So just to clarify, I as the PT am trying to maintain her in the pronated position. I'm applying a pronation force. She is attempting to turn her forearm and palm face up. She is trying to supinate. So again, manual PT resistance. And a positive Jurgensen's test is going to be indicated by one of two things. So first of all, if with your palpating fingers up here you detect any protrusion of the bicipital tendon from the groove, that indicates a rupture of the transverse humeral ligament. Recall that as the tendon of the long head of biceps moves up the bicipital groove, there's a small tendon that wraps over it and turns that groove into sort of a tunnel. That is the transverse humeral ligament. If that tendon is ruptured, then there's nothing to prevent bowing of that tendon and protrusion of it out of the groove. So if you detect protrusion of the bicipital tendon into your fingers or thumb, depending on what you're using, that indicates a transverse humeral ligament rupture. More commonly, though, uh, a positive test would be indicated by reproduction of familiar pain in the shoulder without protrusion of the bicipital tendon. This is either indicative of a slap tear or bicipital tendonitis. But just like with Speed's test, it was determined that this test is better for the detection of slap tears rather than bicipital tendonitis. Now, the psychometrics of this test have been determined. The sensitivity was rated at 43% and the specificity is 79%. So again, as a standalone test, it is not that great. It actually has weak clinical value, but oftentimes the result of Jurgensen's test is combined with that of Speed's test. And so even though the individual specificities are low, if you have a positive Speed's test, specificity 75%, and a positive Jurgensen's test, 79%, there's a better chance that the patient actually does have a slap tear or bicipital tendonitis. Again, there was no pooled specificity, but again, the more positive tests you have that are indicative of that condition, the more likely it is that they actually have that condition. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.